We have it all covered, our political team here on the floor, but our weather team on the ground is where we begin. We want to go to Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel in Orange Beach, Alabama, where they're having a time of it tonight. Hey, Mike. Hey, good evening, Brian. We have been hammered all afternoon long with pounding tropical downpours, blinding at times, and stinging sand. Right now, we're getting a bit of, of a break in the rain, but look what the wind has done to the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, rather, behind me. These seas off the coast are running at 19 feet last check, 10 to 12 footers on shore. The next high tide is tomorrow morning with at least a four-foot surge. More of this beach is going to be lost, and the wind is blowing the sand down the beach. Meanwhile, these buildings in pretty good shape. They're built up on stilts, so they're going to be okay as far as any kind of storm surge flooding, but inland, maybe as much as a foot of rain, potentially some tornadoes. We had a warning earlier north of Pensacola, nothing sighted. So inland, it's going to be fresh water flooding. It's going to be a slow event. So we're going to be battered by wind and sand for the next couple of days. Most of these towns were not evacuated, at least these beach properties, but everybody is headed for the hills. These are ghost towns tonight, but for the uh, upcoming Labor Day weekend. Everybody will be back. Again, it's the wind and rain that's going to be unrelenting on these coast towns from here to Mississippi into coastal Louisiana. Gust is high 60 miles an hour already. Could be higher tonight as those squalls roll in from Isaac. Brian? Mike Seidel getting all this storm uh, will put out tonight in Orange Beach, Alabama.